my face pretty clear? Yes. Good. That's great. So, so whenever we're able to see people. You sure will. <laughs> That's <laughs> the idea. It's really, it's bad that uh, whenever you're out and somebody is like, I saw you and you didn't speak. It's the same thing with the hearing. Mm -hmm. And um, when you lose your sight and your hearing both, it's mm -hmm. rough. Yes, absolutely. So. Hi, it's Dr. Long with Midwest Low Vision, and we have a special guest today. Um, this is Holly, and Holly is our new low vision technician. Holly has star guards or star guard macular dystrophy. So when did you first find out about this diagnosis? So I was 26 years old. I had been told as a teenager that um, there was something wrong, we just don't know what. So it wasn't until I was well into my optometry career and into my mid-20s before I was like officially diagnosed. What I had noticed from my own diagnosis as well as, you know, just working in routine optometry, um, patients come in all the time that don't understand why their vision can't be corrected with glasses. And simply from seeing those patients and seeing how lost they feel when they receive that diagnosis and they don't know what to do or where to go. It really kind of put it on my heart to learn more for myself so that I could be a better uh, resource for my patients. Do you feel then that having this condition, Star Guards, um, helps you care now that you've been caring for some low vision patients for what, at least five weeks, I think? Yeah. Um, do you feel like that's made a difference? It really has. It's not a disability that you can see. True. And working specifically with low vision patients, it's amazing to see the difference when, um, when I'm able to tell them, hey, I know what you're going through. I struggle with this as well. And it's almost like you can see a sigh of relief because they're so used to their friends and family who have the best, their best interest at heart, but maybe just don't know what they see or what they're experiencing and being able to relate to them has it seems to really mean a lot to them yeah anything that has surprised you or that you didn't expect in this position learning all of the different ways that there are for people to see learning the different obstacles that each condition uh, presents to each patient, even to people who have macular degeneration. They don't see the same way. It's and true. being able to adapt that care to each patient, I think has, has really opened my eyes a lot. Well, it's been interesting for us to learning to adapt to and, and try and help you with the needs that you have to do your job. Whatever accommodations we need to make, um, we'll make them. Yeah. Hopefully it's, it's worked so far. Absolutely. So it's going to be great for patients having Holly. Um, thanks for watching the video. Again, Dr. Long with Holly, our new low vision technician, Midwest Low Vision. Give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you.